Yeah. There's a lot of people that looked up to Nip when nobody didn't know who he yeah, was. Yeah, he was you know already I mean? going. He was already yeah. going. And uh, nigga was like, this is one of my regrets right here, not yeah. getting this yeah. verse straight up. The nigga was like, man, whatever you can afford, homie, I ain't going to be offended. He just said, whatever. 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 As the nip that we know now, not knowing person, not but knowing, knowing, that's what he was. What that's what he was saying. You know what yeah, I'm saying you know. And I, and I took that though. I even applied that to young niggas when they reached out to me. If you are live, subscribe. Um, I always open and telling my people that has you know helped me do everything we do and followed our journey. Just I appreciate it, man. But just always just try to help shares. Try to help us get out there a little more because we are having some really, really good guests, and you know what I mean. Got and got really a great story. But look, real quick, I thought about something. Like I don't know if it's just me. Always being a part of the hip hop community, like I have worked with every artist in Nashville on some level. You know what I mean? And um, man, I got sad when I saw Kendrick Lamar and them. And in, in, in a good way, not 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 sad in a bad way, but when I saw how he did that, brought everybody together, like I just got, like I feel like I'm always gonna say Nashville need to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna never be the person that's falling off and, and saying, oh, well, everybody, well, we gonna keep saying it. We gonna keep saying it. We gonna, man, we got the entertainers here as in, Man, buck my brother, cook up my brother, start my brother. Kwani, everybody is my brother, man. You know what I mean? I got one of my brothers here today. I'm really, like, solid with these people. I don't have nobody that got no string on me trying to like this person. Nah, man, we finna, nah, for real, man. So, man, what's up, Murdo? What's happening, homie? Welcome. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? What it do, man? And it's just chilling, man. Yeah, I'm trying man. to figure out, Murdo, like, um, for you, you have been, been in it. First of all, let's talk about the album. Why was that? Why did you put that out? Like, did you put that out just to show them, like, I can do this, or that just something that you wanted to kind of have fun with? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really a showing, you know what I mean, nobody, nothing, but uh, I just wanted to put something out, and then I put it out on my birthday, so it was like some, some shit I wanted to do for myself. I got a little, you know, a little setup at the crib, so I be recording. It just be a when to put it out type of shit, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm loaded now. But I don't, I don't be having that urge to put it out like I used to when I was younger, though. You know what I mean? A nigga used to just, as soon as a nigga have a goddamn nice amount of song, you ready to drop something now. Just like, eh. You know what I mean? What's the what's the motivation, really? That's what, hey, I was just going to ask you that. What's the motivation on wanting to still do that and just really being murdered? And, you know, you ain't never been one to, like, kind of do it for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anytime you was doing it, you was on on a high level. So now, what's the motivation to kind of do it with being, um, Errol Boy said you can't come out the house that much. You know what I'm saying? Huh? And so, <laughs> come out the house. Man, yeah. Kendrick, man, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, you better turn me up fast. What? Hey, there ain't nothing wrong me. with that. Man, get the fuck out <laughs> Oh, no, just, it's so wrong. Yeah, he just was talking about like you can't, so uh, I mean, you know, trying to rap, you know, you gotta be outside. A little bit. Hey, 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 outside in Nashville ain't always just fun, though. Okay. You know what I mean? But, you know, back to what you were saying, I think the motivation now, it really wasn't even like a, I, I'm coming at it like I ain't looking to get nothing out of it, for real. It was just, like I said, I got to set up. I love to make the music. You know what I mean? I, I used to, at some point, love to put it out. You know what I mean? Now I don't really have that much of a drive, but I still want to get it out, you know, whether... Yeah. I ain't looking to blow or whatever from whatever happened, happened, but it's still just a, you know, it's just like a motherfucker that paint or whatever art you do, you know, you just, hey, at some point you want to take that shit to the gallery. You know? well, I mean, you, you got to think for you, you got people that, that fuck with you, you know what I mean, that, that, I mean, that listen to your stuff. So uh, we always say, man, you ain't got to, we ain't, sometimes you ain't doing it for the masses, like you just doing it for your people that want to see, my, sure. you know what I mean? For sure. Come, you know what I mean? Come I out. You. you know what I'm saying? I got you. I pop out. You know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't much. You know what I mean? I pop out. I can pop out. I can keep popping out. Yeah. I, can, I, can, I can pop, pop. pop. Yeah, I, can, I can let that motherfucker loose. You know what I mean? But, you know, even still, a nigga be wanting some kind of direction with it. You know what I mean? I see. When you put some shit out, if you ain't really put no 
promotion or marketing dollars behind it. And, and it be too good. You know, I be knowing my shit too, it's too fucking good to not be putting that behind it. So it's like, all right, hold on, let me regroup. You know what I'm saying? Let do me you see. Think, do, do you think the, what do you think the rap community, not not actually owe you, but just like, you know what I mean? Like, what, what's the sauce that you brought to the, you know what I mean? It would when murder came, it was like it was a different sauce. You know what I'm saying? I think I mean I think the people that 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 was around at that time, they know. Man, they know. You know, the ones that 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 grew up with it at my age, they they know what's up. But the new people, you know, they 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 may not know. It's a whole you gotta think like my height of the rap shit was 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 with the buck shit. So that came that was almost 20 years ago. The, the, the start of that shit. That's like 18 years ago, 19 years ago type shit. So, well, look, let me, know. let I want to ask you that. I want to ask you something on that. Like when, when it came to, when G Unit South had first hit, like, it, it's no denying that, like, everybody in Nashville foreseeing this going to the height as it can go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just like, you know, uh, shout out to High C, shout out to this. What I want to know on on just that, like, what what was you promised? And I ain't saying promise at all. Oh, yo, you gonna get this? But what was the vision on that on you guys' part and like what your relationship with with not even just with Buck and I want to talk about that, but with just like the detail and High C because y'all was actually popping. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean we weren't really promised nothing. For one, like we was never in no contract. You know, so for one, you mean niggas gotta salute Buck and, and shout out to Buck for for even that ride. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, cause it was money spent on niggas. It yeah. really was. You may, niggas may not have made a lot of money, but it was a lot of flights and hotels and shit came oh, out of niggas' budget. So s- salute the Buck for that. But uh, it was nothing really never promised. You know, so that's why niggas can like me. A real nigga can never really be mad at what didn't happen. I'm more just more appreciative of what did happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't nothing really promised. Of course, a young nigga in his feelings, you may have been in your feelings at times. Like, damn, like, who was that? Do, do you think you did everything you can do concerning the situation that you guys was in? Because you guys was actually, y'all all was around. At that point, the, it, at it, that it, point, you, yeah. I thought I did. Okay. Okay, but, but after, that's what I'm saying, after looking. Hindsight, okay. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? In hindsight, I wasn't even really prepared for what probably would have transpired. But even like, like I used to get phone numbers from other G Unit members, like yeah. pulled me to the side in the club. Hey, call me. These the uh, Chris Lightis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, Chris, I think Chris is the older brother, so it was like the Mike Lightis. Yeah. Like, motherfuckers, you know. Let me and, ask you something. Look, I'm going to tell you the truth. I didn't say this before, so nobody can't get mad about this. Um, I have heard everybody say this same thing. They like, uh, yeah, man, you know, I didn't kind of want to go behind Buck back, or or I didn't kind of want to, you know, what I'm saying, do my own little thing. But Buck did it. As far as what? Buck, what would you be? And he took his. He took the better opportunity. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So, you know, I'm just, but you know, like being you know a young guy, nah, 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 for sure. You listen, know what I'm saying? I, it, he listen, didn't do nothing wrong. Like, nah, nah, he but didn't you do like, nothing wrong. But you got to think, nothing was. You know, but listen, okay. nothing was going wrong with what we was doing at the point. Now, if something was going wrong and shit ain't moving, then you know, like you, you already looking for other opportunity. I'm a nigga. This nigga, my mama still lived in the project. Yeah. Shit is happening. <laughs> what the fuck? I ain't never seen none of this shit. I don't know how to, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, this shit crazy. You just happy because you there, really. Hey, you man, know? come on, man. I just think that my mama still living the project. Yeah. How the fuck I'm supposed to know if I'm supposed to go here yet? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like I say, shit's still moving, so it's like, well, it, it, still, is that like, kind of like a little fear man, too? Like, man, I don't know if I'm just ready to. It ain't kinda... no fear. It's okay. a loyalty thing with okay. me. Like this, how I got here. I definitely ain't ready to to step on toes or do no sh- back door shit yet. Cause I ain't got no reason to yet. Ain't nobody showed me no 
shady shit to where I need to do some shady shit. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So, you know, everything was rocking. So, of course, in hindsight, you wish you would have took every opportunity to this fullest thing. Man, I got some stories. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, you know, I, know you got some I, I, you know I mean, what like, yeah. I got a couple that, that like, damn, I wish, like, I posted did a song with Nipsey uh-huh. type shit. And, you know, had a nigga on the line, they had All Nipsey right. number. You know what I'm saying? And the nigga told me the realest shit ever. Like, as far as, like, this is exclusive. This is exclusive, yeah. Like, you know, I had met him out in, in, in Phoenix at some little shit. You know, I used to move around. I was really trying to make it happen at that Man, time. Yeah. Like, and, uh, you know, I ain't got his number. They had seen me. I had a tape. That's another story. That's deep. But what he said was, I was hollering at him about the verse. The nigga was like, man, I was like, what you going to charge me? Because he already had the Crenshaw shit out and the little buzz. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And Because uh, there's a lot of people that looked up to Nip when nobody didn't know who he yeah, was. Yeah, he was you know already I mean? going. He was already yeah. going. And uh nigga was like, this is one of my regrets right here, not yeah. getting this yeah. verse straight up. The nigga was like, man, whatever you can afford, homie, I ain't going to be offended. He just saying, whatever. Whatever. See, we be... It, do it kind of be like an ego thing? Like, we don't want to send them kind of what we got or like, what like, we could have. I, I probably could have sent 300. Yeah, 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 that's all he was saying. But that's all he was saying. Think about it. As, as the nip that we know now, not knowing personally, but knowing. No, that's, what he would, what, that's what he was saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I, and I took that, though. I even applied that to young niggas when they reached out to me. Man, whatever you can afford, little oh, homie. Yeah. I ran with that, you know what I mean? Because I, I knew how this shit get this shit Did hard. you? Do you think you wanted it kind of bad just to be like, what was your, because see, on, on the outside looking in, we looking at the G-Unit South group. Nobody really never saw you being a solo or 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 a C. You know, we always kind of knew Tay, you know what I mean? He was just, you know, you never know. So, so what, did you want to be the solo artist that I'm going to do this or you like the group? atmosphere i mean naturally i was always a solo art. i came okay. in it i came to buck with music yeah cds and shit you know i mean same way see how c did he came to buck he had his own music shit but the group shit was easy i mean it was just easier does buck um get more discredit than he should credit of everything he's done for sure and what you know what i mean yeah yeah for sure I got a lot of good stories, I can tell. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I know you, uh, man, look, one thing I'm going to say about murder, you you a solid one, bro. Like, you know. one of the ones that done always, like, been the, I be trying to tell these guys stay the same. Let me see. And you one of the ones that always just stood on ten toes and always has showed love, never act how some of them may to try to act once they get to a certain you know what I'm saying? A certain yeah. point. You know, you know, everybody might go through a little something like that. You know what I mean? But um, so for you, what do you think like you get got that that just be solid? Did it come from mom or dad or just high, high, gotta go or or what? Or somebody had to man, beat you, know, you up and let you on. know it like yeah. Man, you know, shit, I probably got my ass kicked a time or two, but hey, you know, <laughs> come with it. You know what I'm saying? But uh it just come with growing up where we come from, man. You know, being solid is forced on. You know what I'm saying? Coming up in the ghetto, being not telling it. From your kid, don't nobody like no tell to tell. You know what I mean? Your like, mama used to tell you that. Your really. mama tell you that. My yeah. mama, my OG, <laughs> straight <laughs> up. Like, you know, I learned a lot from my mama. Just getting money, a whole lot of shit. You know what I mean? One time I just, I was just snooping. You know how old be snooping the internet and stuff? You know what I mean? You had a little boring day going on. Yeah. I just saw murder come out and say, "Yeah, this is my crib. Yeah, big boy, this and that." <laughs> what well, cook up say about you, man? Uh, Shout out to cook up, <laughs> man. What happened? I want to know. I, I didn't. Man, I didn't want to no. dig into it. You no, know what I mean? No. Look, like, I know cook up. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no. No, you know what he mean? was talking shit. Nah, no, okay. I, I came in on his live. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. I came in on his live. He was talking shit. You know what I mean? I had to tell him, bitch. Yeah, bitch. It why I ain't rapping and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know I, I know how to fight a nigga like if, Cook Up. On the if you internet. if you and Cook Cook Up get in the boxing match, who coming out with the victory, baby? 
I got boxing gloves. I got to kick his ass. Like, <laughs> he, he, he fat. He tired. He fat. He old. <laughs> Cook up strong, though. Yeah. I ain't going to act like my hey, nigga no hoe. Because he get that one yeah, on nah, you. Nah, nah, My he nigga ain't no hoe. But I'm going I'm to I'm I'm outrun him. I'm going to play with him for a minute and fly. Yeah, I know I got a good mean one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's man, my we'll dog. Pay some, pay some good money, man, to to see that. But nah, that's you know, that's I, I'm nah, y'all ain't. I'm here, everybody, brother. No you know what I'm saying? We, we, like we why could do, do beat me up, but like, <laughs> that's my dog. Yeah, yeah. Man. you know you can't box with everybody, goddamn. What you um, real quick, I want to ask you something because you, 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 you quiet. You don't really say nothing. You kind of just sit back and chill. Um, what should be we be doing more for the? Younger generation that's actually shaking it, and I don't think we're saying enough about those people like the Sweet Poison and the Two Light Breeze and the Lotus and um, Mimi the Goats and uh, Avrianas and the uh, Blazing B3s and all that. Yeah, yeah, I like all them. Blazing, okay. Blazing tough. But what I've we, been we a done fan, been, you know what I mean? I've been a fan of all of them. Everybody you said, I think I done let all of them know. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know the Avriana girl that much, but I think all the other artists, I've definitely let them know that I'm a fan for sure early on, way back. Uh, what we could do more. Uh, and what what and, and even with them, even giving them some encouragement, like some you just feel I always like do that they could do if more. I got like, an idea, like, hey man, yeah, you I know what I mean? sweets. Okay, I'm like, hey, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I do that's this my, shit. My nah, I do yeah. this. Okay, you cool. Ask them. Yeah, nah, you yeah. Can ask them. I'm I just, like, hey, yeah. hey, I got a good idea. Like I do that type shit. But uh, as far as what we can do more, I think for one, we need to have a more of a a, a present hip hop scene. I think people need to know who who really put in that work and who they should should listen to. Like, I, ain't, I ain't trying to say motherfuckers like listen to me, but yeah. like some of us really know some shit. Some of us really like, know some yeah. people. Some of us really got people still following us and shit. People still DM me to this day. You know what I'm saying? You know? So it's like once people really know who 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 should be in position and, and who, you know, like 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 who should structure shit, whose platform is valid. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. You know, and 100%. then we then we got something to stand on, you know what I mean? But let me ask you okay, so for you, cause uh I man, y'all don't know murder, that's my guy. And he the shit. But for you, so who are you listening to behind the scenes? Like when it comes to it can be anybody on the internet. I'm talking about the Charleston Whites or the Boyce Watkins or the Tyreeks, you know what I'm saying? Who you as you know what I mean? Who you, like, who you who you getting your kind of motivation from? You know what I mean? Uh, just, just it could be these guys online. Anything, just you know what I mean. Listen a lot. I mean, I'm a YouTube nigga. Okay. I don't really watch TV. Yeah, me too. I'm, show. I'm YouTube. Yeah, I'm yeah. YouTube shout. So I, I really watch everything. I, just, I, I, I really be on. I be on. I be on a lot of shit. I'm still a. I'm still a young old head. I ain't yeah. too far to test whether I'm in the in the scene or not. I'm still. It's my culture, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I've thought about like a, a label or anything, you know what I mean? Just doing uh, anything I really, on that, that ain't. See, the thing yeah. is, with, 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 see, this is what people got to understand. Like a nigga from the behind the scene, I mean, outside looking in, might see a nigga lifestyle and think a nigga can do so much. Man, when your lifestyle grow, your expenses grow, your yeah. everything grow. So it's like you keep doing this and nigga got to keep getting adjusted to that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, you know, so right now, it really be like, I ain't really got the funds for a label or, you know what I mean? Are you doing better now or when you was rapping? Oh, now for sure. Why, you think? You know what I mean? Like, look. I mean, I'm focused on more real okay. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was rapping, I was really engulfed in that shit. Motherfucker couldn't really tell me to come. Man, we got a session. Yeah. Man, this shit mean more to me right now. Yeah. Like this shit, especially when I was. you think you like I learned was, a lot from just with the rap and going to business? Like, nah, I got to be doing some. You know what I mean? Look, I'm gonna tell you something. Well, look, now nah, I gotta say this on the show. This is exclusive for me. Um, and and it's been so long, you are gonna be like, oh shit, yeah, he's really telling the truth. You said some one day. You got on. You got online. You said, hey, and this probably be. You don't know how long you said you was telling talking about you were like man this guy asked me what can I do with what I got right now 
Ooh, you crazy. And then you and then you was like saying, man, if I had a hundred thousand dollars, something, two hundred thousand, I could do this, this, and that. And he said, What can you do with what you got right now? Damn, you been and on. so look, and so did what I did. Yeah. I was doing Instacart and I started recording myself with my cell phone. Yeah. Because I had to use what I had right now. Right now, yeah. And so, you know, just that's why I say, man, it, you people can really get some from, and yeah, you don't yeah, even, that ain't yeah, even, yeah, we know nah, even, but that, hey, that's a I true story, right? Know. Yeah, yeah, nah, it's hard. I would never know that. You know what yeah, I mean? Nah, real talk, real talk. And real so, time. man, sometimes I just think, like, uh, y'all give, some, some of y'all give so much, you don't even know when you, you know what I'm saying? So what you saying, what you saying, we should be more vocal? Most definitely. <laughs> no, that's, that? that's what that's I'm, I'm getting 100% that? getting at <laughs> on... Like because people listening and and y'all and some of y'all be quiet. Let me tell my wife I'm doing this interview right quick. Yeah, baby, I'm, 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 I'm in the middle of this interview. Huh? Yeah, he first again? nigga answer the phone on the interview, but it's cool. Oh, but we do it this like this. You know what I mean? I told you he can't come outside like I'll that. You right back. I told I y'all that him. from the get go. Right. He can't come. <laughs> I told y'all that. Hey man, hey, but no. hey, <laughs> hey, I only want to come out. I, know, I, know. I, know. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, I let my wife do whatever, nigga. I know I can do what the yeah. fuck else. Yeah. yeah, but okay, but so how do you, do she look? Can your wife go out of town and stuff by herself with her friends? And stuff? For sure, my wife just went to Jamaica. Hey man, but now look and um, yeah, shout it up, murder. But look, this what I wanna wanna say. Cause I want to get into that real quick. Um, why don't the rappers be more vocal towards each other? What do you mean? Like you just mean? have more more conversations to where, like, we got the dopest squad. It, I Nash, think niggas do be talking though. Okay, you know, okay. I don't think it be like in the in the public eye. Okay. But I think niggas be. I think niggas be talking niggas that fuck with each other sure, okay. or had a chance. I done invite, invited niggas over my crib shit. You know what I mean? Niggas that wasn't even in like my immediate rapper circle. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, but I don't know, man. No, I'm going to tell you this, though. Having rapper friends in Nashville is hard. And I'll tell you why. Niggas are not like each other. And in a few months, and now here you is in the middle of. It. So you got to be careful with the trying to have rap all these rapper friends and spreading yourself thin with everybody. You know, like you know, it, it's cool to be cool with it with niggas, but man, you ain't got to hang with everybody, bro. If it ain't about no business, man. We ain't, we ain't really got nothing in common or nothing. You know what I mean? For real, for real. Like we, we ain't. I mean, I salute whatever you got going on, but you ain't. He ain't got to kick it like that, man. Okay. Now look, this I I never I would never suggest that. This is what I always tell people. I don't been around too many people that got too many deals. You know what I'm saying? Like as far, you know. I, I don't I don't uh I said this one mother show. How see I seen how see NCP them turned down a quote unquote deal. Baby was like, hey y'all come on on the bus right now. Type Let's shit. go. Yeah. Uh, 100 percent You know what I'm saying? And so what they turn it down for though? What, what they, they just doing? probably weren't ready to go. I'm a, I'm you know a, what I'm saying? I'm about to ask them niggas that question. What hey, the fuck yeah. going on? Yeah, they would. The baby said, "Hey, we come on. Uh, we got introduced, and even though they was di- through the bus driver, you know what I mean. Anyway, make a long story short. Is what I'm saying is, do you think a lot of y'all want it that bad? Because like a lot of Nash rappers just stay in town. You know what I mean? What's the if if if, if, if they you are putting out an album and stuff like that? Well, like and you just staying in town. Yeah. How is I it going to make yeah, it anyway? For sure. That ain't, that, ain't, that ain't putting up. I say back then I wanted it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I used to be, I used to get around for what my budget could have, you know, do. I used to do little shows in Atlanta, little shows, little West Tennessee, Dyer's Bird, little shows here and now. You know what I mean? I used to, I used to, you know, do my little thing. But now, do I really got that motivation? Uh-huh. Nah. But could I could I 
You know what I mean? Really? Turn it up for the right reason. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Nigga don't want to, you know what I mean? Have to get up and do what a nigga got to do every day to pay all these motherfucking bills. Do you think it's better now that uh, you can put all your stuff out yourself or do you think that done kind of weaken I the rap put out, I always put out my shit out. I know what I'm just saying, but like now you can just kind of... Um, but let's just make that clear. Room. Hold on, let's make that clear. Okay. I always put out all my shit. Okay. I ain't never had no group of people investing in me. Mm. Man, I dropped a lot of shit, man. Y'all can go look me up, man. You know what I mean? I dropped a lot of shit out of out for me, man. Like really had to, you know, I wanted help. I, I had a little maybe a little few little helps here and there. You know what I mean? But the overall process and all that shit, that shit was me, cuz. You're real talk. But don't don't that make you like feel better to where you ain't have to Hell no, nah. hell no, nah. <laughs> hell no, nah no more. Like Rich Fuck that. I don't want all the credit. I need was help. It, but, 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 but was it people around when you was? Hell kinda, yeah, they could have helped. Don't they they fuck saying, niggas. Fuck around. niggas. Hell yeah, them fuck niggas could have helped me, nigga. They know it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you yeah. know, niggas didn't really believe. Man, my, you know, my brother told me one time, a nigga told me, man, they rap shit like hitting the lotto. Man, that next year I was with Buck. Yeah. I hit the lotto. No, no. Like, you, and I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, fuck what a nigga talking about. Man, if you really know, you got it. But you got to know, man. You can't just be guessing, man. If you really know you got something, I don't give a fuck what it is. Man, don't listen to nobody, bro. I'm telling you, man. Don't listen to nobody, man. Don't in, in, in ideas, investments you got. There's so many shit. I So much shit I let a nigga kill my goddamn spirit on. You hear me? Like telling a nigga, man, that man, fuck people, bro. Do that shit, man. Don't listen to nobody, man. Just do that shit. Do that shit, bro. And put that real, shit out. Man. Nobody know, man, what's supposed to happen for you, bro. Mm, but what but I'm just saying that even it ain't whatever it is. It ain't just gotta be music. Oh no, it can like, be you know not. It can whatever be, it is. It can nigga. be a relationship. Look how your shit it can be anything. Man, look in the beginning of your shit. Nigga talking, man, what what P doing? What man, P boy, huh? Look at the shit now. Yeah. I don't know my know what for a nigga. Nobody, yeah. You hear me? You gotta go. You gotta mm-hmm. cope with what you know. Especially but the whole if time a nigga ain't like this, The whole time you been pushing that shit, nigga. Like, like you knew. That's the difference. But don't you think you? That's why you got noticed, nigga. That's why you noticed me because I was pushing. Like now, nah, you you was pushing it like like you knew. Like nigga, I'm looking at the setup. This ain't no average setup, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Y'all came out the gate pushing like you knew, and that what that what that wasn't it take to get people on board. And then when you be consistent, well, that's what look. I always um, that's why I always bring the people like the Quanies and the Bucks and all them up because past all the BS, they taught you what it. To, you know what I mean? Yeah, I learned a lot from all Like they talk, I, no, I'm just, said, I'm I just, yeah, I'm just talking about everybody. You know what I mean? I learned a lot from everybody. Like like they yeah. every don't act like that where you didn't where you got your path from. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's I all a lot I'm from saying. Everybody, dude. And so yeah, everybody you just named, yeah, yeah, I learned yeah, something from yeah, that. I was I, a fan of all them yeah. before I became a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I got some juice from everybody. I think I got this. <laughs> What part of town are you from, Omar? I'm from. I'm originally from my south. I lived most of my life my south in the project. Which one? You see, JC. Both of them. They're up top, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, that was my young nigga college. We call it UC JC. My young nigga what you, up top. What you think about um the new Nashville scene? Just Hold up, you, you got out of town a lot. I lived a lot of place. I lived out west too, though. I gotta throw my west side niggas in there. Shut I lived out west, west yeah. for the block alone. You know what I mean? A lot of years. You know what I mean? So, the, yeah, yeah. But what you like, like even with where your project is, like linked in those type of new spots. What you think about the new? Do you actually? Because you you be out of town a lot and shit too. I be we be seeing your ass. You know I mean, what I mean? Man. But just in Nashville, what you think about the new look? You think it was kind of good for us, or you think like? It just really was to kind of kick us out. But I don't, you know what I mean? It was not nah, one good for us because we didn't own nothing. Yeah. Yeah, we owned some shit. I mean, we ain't know no better, man. I wish niggas knew. Right? Like, but I'm saying, but I'm t- but but do you, you, shit, you enjoy bro. it? Do you, do you enjoy, enjoy the what? New, just the new whole scenery that's going on? I mean, we don't own no, not for real. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> we don't own shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. well, we can't even go to clubs and get... Show do setups and shit right. and nice shits like that ain't fun, bro. Yeah, like, right. look how they did Roy when he was over there with the, 
with the what's that was? We was doing all them shows. What? Nah, not marathon. The one before that, uh, on Eastland. We was doing all them shows. Face knees, face knees, man. Yeah. Then they they, they, they gonna fuck my nigga. You do, know what I mean? Do, like, come on. Do Roy, man. do Roy get enough credit for everything he has brought to the hip hop community? And if not, why? Um. I mean, that credit shit, man. People going to... Not credit as in... I mean, but it's I'm just like you got to think... This, this, this is the thing that come. This is the thing people got to understand. Everything don't appeal to everybody. Okay. And we can't fucking be mad about that. To the people okay. that it appealed to, I think they really respect what he has done. You know what I mean? Like a motherfucker. Like, I, I remember a point in time when I used to go out like a motherfucker. Oh, Lil' Murder, Lil' Murder, you know, you know. Yeah. Well, man, it be time me and Roy together... I said, Roy get that. Yeah, Roy get that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like, people don't be know. Yeah. He don't know. We don't know these motherfuckers. And he get that now. So, you know, yeah. niggas get it. But, you know, like, is niggas going to tell it? Is niggas going to put it in they bitch face? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I ain't. You know, like, like I ain't, yeah. you know, everybody ain't got that the way they, I mean, no, I don't know. I mean, but I think, you know, he get it. I think, you know, he get it. Man, I'm just, I think he's I'm just definitely got, you know, earn some add shit. The, add it to the pot. You know what I mean? Add it to the pot. Add what? And I think everybody, I think everybody done added something, you know what I mean, For to sure. the pot. You know what I mean? That yeah, nigga just, came in and added some yeah, shit yeah, yeah. to the pot. And then that's what For I'm sure. like, man, in a collective, you know what I'm saying? But He has some of the best marketing. Yeah. And uh, he has some of the best show layouts. I personally ever seen a motherfucker. Mm, did you get the performer in them stages? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did a couple of. Them. Well, yeah. mm-hmm. But then in some, it was really around the time and I really wasn't. Yes. So I pop out and do a song or two type shit. I really wasn't into yeah, rap. No, that's, that's cash real, man. We gon' and, no. and then just go back to some of the shit we was talking about earlier in the beginning about the motivation of, of putting out music. Back then, nigga, I, I, I used to be able to sell CDs. Made money off that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nigga, what, what, what the product? I only know how to sell the product. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what, all this, just put it out in the air. Man, what the mm, fuck is and, that? And expecting people to go click. What is that? I need a product. I need a physical product I can sell. So when we went away from that, that definitely was like, ah. It was that way when you were like it really kind of well, it was do. easier. You I, mean, know what I mean, you know, I sold some merch, my Wicked World merch and shit. You know what I mean? The one I sold a lot of merch. Merch is a, is an expensive game. What people don't know though, yeah. like clothes ain't getting no cheaper. And then when you got a, a lot of people bagging out on orders and shit, and that shit that shit can go bad quick. Even time. but I'm saying even we're putting out the music real quick. I want to ask you this: Do you think it's it's kind of like a little drawn out now because artists can't actually put out their music themselves and nobody can't like critique it or, you know what I mean? And not that somebody try to tr- critique your music, I but it, it kinda when ain't you a, listen to it a kind of ain't a good thing because it's just like it's out in the middle of the fucking ocean. It, it don't matter even know it's out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, 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 we never know it's out, bro. Everybody just put shit out every day. We don't know. That shit is out there, you know what I mean? So it should be some kind of process you had to go through to be able to. That will put the value that, back back up on it, yeah. Uh, on people releasing music, they went through this motherfucking uh artist management program and boo boo boo. Now it's just like you can record that shit in the house, put it out tomorrow. You're an artist. Mm. What honestly? I, shouldn't it be like that? Yeah. Like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, who to tell you you had to go to school to fucking learn how to paint to be the best painter? Mm, yeah, facts. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like, yeah, I mean, it's ain't all no right or wrong game. with this shit. Yeah, yeah. It's all fair yeah. game. But, you know, it really, it, it ain't no, it ain't, that also ain't putting a higher value on the shit that's getting released. It's just like, especially if there ain't no marketing dollars behind Who you listening to now? Like, what's your... Like your artists, are you listening to the new ones or the who you listening to? Yeah, I listen to everybody. Everybody, uh, yeah. Yeah, I like everybody. Like, I ain't one of them niggas talking. About, I don't like none of them. If somebody like come it. out with them, cause look, I I know that Killer Mike album you told me was that gonna was be the best. Hard. That was like real color, real project type. But I still like my old man D Lo. I like all oh, yeah, he hard. Shit. Oh, I he like hard. All, I like everything. Like 
all the I be listening to a lot of shit. Man, that's all right. I ain't yeah, so yeah, I ain't I, I ain't got my ears closed to nothing. Like I can't listen. Nah, I done broke that barrier down. That ain't. Are you listening to any of the girls? Like oh, the yeah. glow. Hey, what? Look, glow man. my favorite. Yeah, come on, man. That's, come on, man. I um, mean, you know, they look. gonna say sexy the big dog, but I'm team glow. Glow. Look, baby. I'm gonna tell you something. I gotta talk to you personally. They trying to comfort you now because you done became I, I the do like, I do like Lotto. Zendo. I like them all. I'm talking, I'm talking. I'm not talking about the girl. The only person was chasing you was Fred O'Bain. <laughs> and now everybody, all them Ellie and Choppers, <laughs> trying to come after you and stuff. Glow, don't go, baby. You are becoming the hottest thing. Come get somebody regular like you like. And you said you like older guys. Just to throw that out there. Yeah, you said that. And so all these guys, they trying to come for you because you the hottest thing. 95 degrees. I ain't got no girl in the girl. Ain't got me. Yeah. My nigga done shot his come whole on, shot. Come on, man. That yeah. guy, yeah. but, even, but I'm just saying, the girls are really like, I'm digging the sexy reds and everything. Are you really? Are you scared to say that you messing with them? Because everybody act like it. Now nobody let me say listening. this though, man. I ain't going Don't be scared. Now listen. Don't be scared, I fuck bro. with it. I fuck with it because I understand. You know, once you get your lane, it's kind of you got to kind of stay in the pocket for yeah. your audience. You know what I mean? So it's hard for me to knock anybody getting their bread, bro. Facts. But sometimes the message is, 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 is a little too much. Sometimes yeah. I got dollars and shit. So sometimes the message is a little too much sometimes. But hey, man, at the end of the day, hey, who fault is that? Because our kid listen to that shit. Did Glow stick to her guns when everybody was coming with that sexy, 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 and Glow just said, I'm going to just do my rap? And nah, she's think... showing her ass now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, see, they got facts. them. They got them. Facts. They got them. I mean, I mean, I'm just saying the music she actually putting out, I feel like as a dude, you can listen oh, to yeah, that I'm music. Yeah, you know I'm what I'm saying? saying? I'm you can listen to that music. And then I don't but, know if it's just a bias because she's Tennessee, you know what I mean? Oh, in Memphis, Nashville, you know, Memphis, but, you, you know, know that. That's, that's but, 100. Yeah, I, I, I'm fucking with it. I'm going to tell you what I liked about her because um, we were, uh, was at a party. It was at Sky Bar. Shout out to Sky Bar, Nashville, Tennessee. And um, K. Carbon had a show down here. Oh, Glow and all, it was with her. Gloss and all, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the real I mean, you know, Yeah, you shit. know they that, though. They us. But they why that. is Memphis doing stuff like that and we right here? I mean, we do we did we do that. Okay. Ain't no I mean, a lot of times I done jumped on the road with, with Star. Oh, yeah. Shout and out you to know, my guy. You know, you know, Fuck with shit him. like, you know, I'm on the road with Buck for many years, you know. Really, like, I was getting a check, and, you know. I mean, we do that shit. Yeah, but yeah, I've been on the road with Little Air Roy. You know what I mean? Niggas do it. You know, I don't, I don't know if niggas show it. I mean, people might not pay attention, but we, we do well, that shit. And even even with Star, like how much, like um, what what category do you put Star like this in? Like rap, if 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 he was doing a versus with somebody and you feel like it'll be good, like what category would you put him in? Like with somebody, cause I know Star, just his style just so fat. You know what I mean? You can't put, you know what Versus, I mean? Uh, I'm just saying this, and, and I ain't saying he go, I'm just saying somebody in his, in his rank, in his, in his, rank, in his style, that'll be a good little, you know what I mean? He got a, he got a very versatile this it's, it's super versatile. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. He really, he really, he really can shit. He could probably go with anybody, but I'm just, yeah. you know what I mean? But yeah, he, he his go. style of, you know what I mean? Like you can't really, uh, we talked about something. I'm going to tell you something. Who, it was, we was, I forgot, I can't even, I think it was me and Vac, and then mm -hmm. we was talking about this. Everybody always talking about, what's Nashville style? We probably the only city that got a style of everything. And, and the fucked up part about that, that's probably what hurt us. I don't think so. No, I think that's what's going to, I think once we accept that, I think, look, man, I'm finna, I'm finna tell you this. Who kid? Shout out to who kid? Um, Buck did that mixtape. It was everybody from Nashville at the time. It was a Kwani, a High CCP, everybody. We was a soundstage right there on Music Row. Who kid called 50 Cent on the, uh, on the phone and said, 50, we found our gold mine. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, see. What we were talking about? We did that. We, it, it was a book, did a mixtape. It was everybody in Nashville. God, it was in there, Star, Quan. Like, it was just, it was just a super dupe. I don't know what ever happened to it. I know Buck was saying one time it came out in New York. I don't know. But when I say who kid was down here recording the shit, mm. and a who kid called 50 on the phone and said, 50, we found our gold mine right here in Nashville. Mm. And so I, that's why I be trying to tell people, Murdo, I'm motivated by something different, bro. Yeah. I done seen these people come down here and say some stuff. Nah, yeah, nah. You sure. know what I'm saying? Me too, yeah. me too. I done seen this. And what I'm shit. just, you know what I'm saying? I done, so I'm just I, done, kinda... I done picked up shot money from the airport before and riding through the hood and just tell them stories. This nigga like, man, I want to do a movie about this mm-hmm. shit. Like, yeah, they they see it. They seen the vision. They yeah. done took them to the projects. They seen the nigga interact. In and, the, the and the vision still, like, it's, it's ripped, man. I just, it's, look. Cash bill, she's ready to go. I'm out. Yeah. Hey, man, look, I ain't going to never. Um, I'm just going to always push, push it. You know what I mean? I just ain't going to, you know what I mean? This push just cash line, bill shit. I'm, yeah, I'm just always. Y'all didn't see that nigga got them to kill his body off the camera. <laughs> I said, I don't know. I'm ready for this nigga. <laughs> Fuck this nigga got going on. <laughs> <laughs> he's, still, he's still going, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so now. Oh uh, man, that's why I was like, I I knew uh, my my guy my guy was coming man gonna do his thing. Look, a uh, homie, uh, motivate somebody man just to you know to to know it's cool just to be themselves because that's what a a big thing. What I think that you found out when you did kind of go do what you do and find everything you were doing and being successful at the stuff what you're doing now. I think you kind of just looked at yourself like you know I'm gonna just do me. I ain't gonna you know what I mean. It's hard to tell a young person though. No, it ain't. I mean, nah, yeah, it is. They, they, it's such a monkey see, monkey do Dude, world, yeah, man. Facts. Like, I mean, we definitely need people to just to be they fucking self. You know what I mean? I mean, that it's for me personally. It's just hard to to fake it. I ain't, man, bro. I don't got. I, I am not going to sit up and be putting on no man. That's too much work. It's just too much work, bro. Like, I ain't got time to be lying. I got to, you know, I ain't got time to remember all this shit, bro. Like, man, hey, man. They were like, we used to say back in the day, man. What we used to say, uh, you ain't got to be cool to kick it, man. That'd be cool to kick it. <laughs> You're like, you don't got to be what you what everybody it's really is simple. to kick it, bro. Yeah. It's you really, really long, bro. It, it, it's really simple. It's really right, simple like that. Straight up, bro. <laughs> you know, if you're alive, subscribe, man. Yeah. My dog was here. You ain't got to be cool to kick it. 